Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you along on my trip to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Um, it was a really fun trip. I took a few days ago. We hiked up the biggest dune and it was just a really cool experience. It was the second time that I'd been there. I went there about like nine years ago, I think. But because I was really little and we got there a little late in the day, we weren't able to go all the way up the tallest dune. We just kind of went like maybe halfway up. So it was super cool to actually get all the way up this time. So I guess let's start at the beginning. I really enjoyed going to the Great Sand Dunes. It's a super unique place and it just doesn't seem like it should be there. Like it seems really out of place, but it's super cool. So um, when you're driving towards it, you can see it for like, like an hour, I think, of the drive from at least where we came from. And it's just super cool to see how small the dunes look and then just watch them grow as you get closer. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some of my tips for getting in there. Um, I know like National parks have been a lot busier this year, so my first recommendation is just to get there early to get in, just like when the gates open. It's really great to get in right at the opening time because parking lots fill up and stuff like that. Also, another reason to get there early is because the sand gets really hot, so if you want to go up the dunes at all, then you gotta be careful. I'd say don't leave too late in the morning because it does start to get pretty hot out there. We left just a few minutes after the park opened and got up the dunes and out and the sand was just starting to get too hot when we got out. Um, I think it took us about an hour to climb up the dunes. I think the dunes are about 800 feet tall and you start at around 9,000 feet. So it's kind of high, especially for someone like me who is used to living in the east where it's like a lot lower elevation. Although I have been in Colorado for over a week now. Another recommendation that I just thought of is to bring like tall socks with you um, just in case you're going later in the day or you're afraid that the sand is going to get too warm because once it does, if you put on socks, it makes it a lot more bearable. I know it sounds kind of gross to wear socks while you're walking in sand, but it is really helpful. And I did walk like barefoot all the way up 
um, but I think I put my socks on pretty near the top just because it was getting kind of warm. So also like wear a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen because it is like very very exposed. There's no shade out there on the dunes. So yeah, I would definitely recommend going to Great Sand Dunes National Park. Of course, it made an impression on me when I was younger because I suggested that we go back this trip and it was really great. So I would definitely recommend going there. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!